Well, hey there, I um, had a meeting today with another coach and I, it was awesome. It was really, really awesome. Uh, I love connecting with coaches and how empowering it is. It is amazing when there's a true connection with a coach, there's a almost a buzz, uh, an energy, a life uh, flow that comes out of it uh, just by the very connection. Um, and I was asking another coach friend of mine and he said, that's, that is coaching. That's, that's when it's best is when, uh, it gives you that buzz in your chest, that encouragement, empowerment, energy. Uh, I think it's also a quickening of the spirit where the spirit is just telling you stuff and revealing stuff that's already there that you may have known, but just didn't make connections with. So I'm excited. I'm excited uh, I'm being uh, coached on a number of uh, bases, and I love being coached. Uh, coaching is uh, so powerful, and every time I do coaching, I realize how how utterly powerful it is and amazing it is, and it makes me um, so proud to be coaching uh, because I, I see the benefit, I see the power, I see the force of energy that comes out of connecting and coaching. Today we were talking about my book, The Sovereign Touch. And The Sovereign Touch is a, a book about the sovereignty of God. But what it really shows is how the most glorious expression of God comes out of the most tragic situations in our life. That he's that sovereign. That he's able to turn things around and turn things forward and reveal himself and reveal his purposes in the most tragic situations of our life. This coach friend of mine is a, is a coach on grief. And so we were talking about the Sovereign Touch. And uh, we had the revelation of this. Is life for me or to me? So when we have bad situations that happen, um, we need to look at it and say, is this being done to me or is this being done for me? And I think the difference and the distinction is incredible because of the fact that to look at it for rather than two. Two is a victim mentality. Two is um, that things are being put upon us and that we are being put upon by God. But when we realize that God always is doing things for us, that it's for our growth, for his revelation, for his glory, for our growth, for our maturity, that changes everything. Even the worst situations can become glorious situations when we're looking at them as four rather than two. Two puts blame. Two shifts the paradigm to blame. We blame God or we blame the circumstance or we blame others and we say, that is being done to me. And uh, that removes our empowerment. It removes our ability to grow and, and move forward in that and to benefit from even the hardest situations. Two, disconnects us from the power and life source of God's sovereign hand. And I never want that to be the case in my life. To have things done for you, even difficult things, even the most difficult things for you, when we look at it in that view and with that mindset, we can be empowered, we can be charged, we can be electrified as we are um, being energized to live life, to grow, to be filled with his life and power. I want to always have things done for me. And in the moment, it's very difficult to have that thought. In the moment, uh, it feels very much to me rather than for me. But I do know that as we will shift our view to a for me view, we will literally thrive and become victorious. I'm excited about it. And I really would love to invite you just to, just to look at your situation. Be curious with your situations. Am I looking at this as it's being done to me? Or is this thing being done for me? That is power. That is incredible power that will transform a situation so that I will not be defeated by it, but that I can uh, be nurtured, grow, and, and mature in the situation. 
So I really appreciate you all watching and um, thank you for praying for me about the coaching. As I'm building my coaching ministry and I'm watching men released and, and being brought into freedom from traumas, I, I am being empowered. I'm being empowered, not only them. I'm being empowered to watch the Holy Spirit work among us and with us. And it's exciting because um, some of the greatest traumas, again, four or two, but some of the greatest traumas, um, we can overcome those. Past traumas don't have to be defining landmarks and defining tombstones. They can actually be empowering to move forward and to grow and to experience his life. So I want to thank you again for listening and uh, I, I bless you and I appreciate you and I'll be talking real soon. Thank you.